to a degree, um, that experience factor is, is, is changing and dynamic as well because um, there's, there's a dimension that says it's going to be different by context, mm -hmm. but then there's also an aspect that says that whoever's providing the experience wants to not be a transactional experience, you know, a one-off, right. but actually a, an engaging and deepening experience on the, on the other. So does, does that play to, to what you deliver as well? Or? Yes, it does. So, so one of the things I was talking about is the concept of multimodal transportation, right? So I may own a car or I may not, but say I want to go from San Francisco to Germany. There are, there are many different modes of transportation I have available to me mm. to get there. So I might drive myself to the airport, get on an airplane. Um, the airplane lands, I may grab an Uber to take me to a train station, a train station to another city in, in Europe, and then an Uber for a Lyft or even a taxi from my, from my train station to my hotel. The company that comes up with managing that entire experience, uh, that that um, that that um, response to a request, right, irregardless of what the channels are, is going to be the the company that wins out in the end. Right? So I think everybody right now is focused very much on their own brand on and the, their own experience. Right. And the long-term play here is a, is focusing on the consumer's experience. So it's more on the continuum. Than yes. it is on the specific experience, right? Right, the continuum of travel. Exactly. I want my request is to get to Stuttgart, Germany. Right. How do you fulfill my request and make me happy doing that? Yeah. Right now, I have to do you know five different websites to make that experience occur. If I could go to one app and say I want to go to Stuttgart, Germany, and I have a meeting at four o'clock, and everything was arranged for me, a true concierge, a true personal assistant. I think that's that's where we want to end up. So I mean, Jasper was acquired by by Cisco. I mean, and, but Jasper had that platform, and and I think was selling to OEMs and to, to mobile operators for a long period of time. How how is how is the how has that evolved since the acquisition, and and how do you see it evolving going forward? So we've always sold exclusively ex our product exclusively to the mobile operators. And the mobile operators provide the platform as a service to the, the car companies. Okay. What my team does is, is we teach the OEMs best practices, right? We are very deeply engaged. Since we're not selling them anything, we become, you know, this neutral voice or, or a true trusted advisor, right? So we understand, you know, having just last year, we, we closed about... 54 opportunities with just the OEMs. So, and those go across about 16 mobile network operators globally. So, we're seeing, you know, from that that initial deployment in just the U.S. and then maybe, you know, uh, China is the second. We're getting um, RFIs, RFPs that we're responding to that have 28 or 30 countries. So how do, you, how do you scale your business and how do you deploy your services to countries where you might only sell 300 vehicles a year? Right.